Yo, 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 this is Big Nice. LB fans, Lost Boys. You already know I'm listening to Mikey T's. Uh, his podcast is just jumping. But this is Big Nice of the Lost Boys. I want y'all to listen to Mikey T. Look at Mikey T, the movie stars podcast forever. Feel me? One. 50 what Cent else? wanted to get rich or die trying, and the Lost mm-hmm. Boys were the lifestyles of the rich and shameless. Can you tell me about the first time uh, you met 50 or the first time 50 came around? Uh, 50 is, uh, he's, see, 50 is the homie, right? From 134. He's off tie in the block. That's tie. 50 used to hustle up there and this, that, and the third. We met him years. We met him in the 80s. I don't know. He's younger, but he's around. He's around. He was around. He used to hustle on the block. He used to help, he used to come over to Talit's. Block one, three, four, Nigar Brewer, and and smoke, drink, and play music and all that stuff. The guys and shoot dice and all that, hang out, do the regular things that we would do on on Rockaway. We sometimes we come to uh, uh Nigar Brewer, and Fifty used to be there, and he was trying to hustle and tie. And used to be like, man, get out of here with that. Just that, uh, stop. You know, fiends coming around and stuff like that. He's serving it. Get out of here. You're going to make us hot and stuff like that. We already out here by 40 deep. And this is at a third. So he wants to done. So he gets mad and shit. Take his motherfucking his shit and put up. And then come back out with a motorcycle. He want to be dark doing wheelies down a book Bukabu and stuff like that. And it's still going to make us hot. You know what I'm saying? Still make the whole block hot stuff. Doing wheelies down the block, doing it down the boulevard. So he, that was our dude. That was our dude. We wanted him. Really, we wanted him before he got the, uh, the rap bug. To uh, be a boxer because he used to box and stuff like that when he was in Sparkle and all stuff. So he used to box. So we was trying to see what's up with that because we had, like I said, we came to the table with a lot of shit. Like Lamar Odom, that's our little man. He balling. We introduced him to Shaq. Like Shaq, he was going to LA, he was on the Clippers, this and that and third, showing whatever, this and that and third, you know. He had him. We had, we wanted 50, the boxer. We had, um, Monte Barrett, he was from our from our school. He was a boxer also. He was trying to get in all that. The sports thing is, you know what I'm saying? What Jay-Z's doing with the Rockers, Nate Bach Nation, all that. We had those ideas back in the 80s, the early 90s. You know what I'm saying? We had all those type things back then with the clothes and the, the, the sports. And we wanted to get in a lot of things. But that's how we were. There's four of us that had four different brains and stuff like that that we was like, yo, if we had the money to do this or we could get this person or that person, just brainstorming. And we was doing that way before 2000s. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Way in the 90s, before the 2000s. We was had these things and stuff like that. Just, just dreams. We couldn't get it. Was 50 coming around saying that he wanted to pursue music or was it just he was trying to hustle on the block? Nah, he. I don't know how. He was just hustling. Now, his rapping and all that stuff, I don't know where that came out. I don't know what happened with that. But then when I did hear about after he got shot and all this other stuff, but not even that, when, when he had the ghetto clown and all that stuff, a couple of songs and stuff like that, I was like, eh, I don't know about that. That's a little that's a little deep. He's talking about too much stuff and stuff like that. I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that. Answer. But it is what it is and stuff like that. You actually remember when Ghetto Quran came out? Yeah. I was, uh, I was, uh, you know, a lot of people had it. It was on the tapes and stuff like that. So people used to play it around. People playing around the hoods and in and, and the cars and all that stuff. And I was one of them dudes that had like a super system and shit like that. Uh, any car I had, it was like, nigga, you're going to hear me from about a couple of blocks. You know it's big coming. That's how my systems were. And anything I had, it was the Chevette or the Zuzu Drupa, you going to hear my system. So they always wanted me to play this joint. And so I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, it's telling. <laughs> I was feeling like that. I was like, oh, I don't know about that one. But, yeah, I mean, people played it. You know what I'm saying? People played it. I heard it. I listened to it. It was, it was, it was deep. You know what I'm saying? It was telling about the it was telling about the hood. It was telling about the guys in the hood. That the, his 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 point of view, his eyes, telling about the hood, the people that he grew up around. So it was all good. It was a good story. Did you ever get a chance to meet Supreme McGriff? No, I didn't get to meet him. I didn't get to meet him. 
But we have run in with the pretty team and stuff like that, man. Listen, you knew the Lost Boys. <laughs> Everybody knew the Lost Boys. We had a run in with them. It was one time uh, the Cheeks had a little bout with one of the dudes. We was all trying to get him in our, our club, our favorite club and shit like that um, on, 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 Merit, on Jamaica Ave. And it was like before Thanksgiving. And Cheeks and him was outside. Everybody else was going in. They was like ushering everybody in, and him and Jay Raff and them was the last ones coming in. And I guess the young Supreme team cast the hustles for him and stuff like that. Was trying to bully and push him and stuff like that. So one thing led to another. Got a little squabble. Dude stole cheeks, broke his jaw, this, that, and third. And we want to get back. We don't care who it is. Nigga, nobody will touch us. So regardless, of, yo. When our home in our greenhouse, his, his uncle is green eye born, and yo set that up. We need that rematch and this, that, and third. Cheeks went back and pummeled the dude with a broke jaw. <laughs> he had to eat a uh, 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 recent uh, joke with him because he had uh, he had a wide jaw. And for Thanksgiving, he had to you know the, the, the turkey and all that other stuff. He was a clown and him trying to get turkey and stuff like that. But he got that rematch and you broke the dude up. You know what I'm saying? That was a good joint, though. That's I mean, we, we 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 went through some wars and stuff like that. Even like... The joke is, we went through some wars. And we, like I said, we got a lot of things. We got music coming. We got movies. We got books. We got clothes, apparel, heavy hands, apparel, wild cats, apparel. We got apparel. Get your own apparel. Everybody got something. We got a lot of things coming. And like I said, we got some new music right around the corner. It's actually about to drop right now and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Got a video that they got to clean up. <laughs> they got to re-edit because I was like, yo, man, no, no, no. We got to do this record. This got to be right. So we got some things like that. You know what I'm saying? Got a video coming and music yeah. on the way, all that. We got everything. It's we got some tours and, sh and shows and stuff like that. We still doing shows and stuff like that. We're getting, getting, getting the formula ready. So it's about to happen. Yeah, and shout out to my guy, C-Styles. He told me that there will be a street naming for Freaky Ta. You had yeah. to it a little bit earlier. Could you tell me about that? Yeah, I mean, it's a long time coming. You know what I'm saying? He's here now. You know what I'm saying? His son got something to, you know, is 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 negotiating with the people, the parks department and all this other stuff so, so we can have a great day that day. Uh, uh, um, I forgot the... the uh, Damn, his mind, his his name slips my mind right now. But he runs the borough, and he he's a LB fam. You know what I'm saying? He's fam, and he he's pushing the envelope. Let's get whatever we gotta get. You know what I'm saying? He giving everybody a day. He gave us our proclamations and all that stuff. So we we grateful. You know what I'm saying? Ty needs that day. He needs that sign. Everybody knows what it is with one three four God boo. So it's only right. We fitting. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. And you've also said that you want to get into some executive producing and actually put some artists out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, what I'm, doing, that? what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I do for is to get to that next level. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm 50 plus. I ain't going to be riding forever. I mean, some can, some will, and some do. But I know I only want to do certain things. I want to be heard. <laughs> I got something to say, you know what I'm saying? But then I want to be in that next seat, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to push the push push the next artist, the future artist, the the Drakes and the Kendricks and and the Coles and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And the Nickies and the, and a lot of all those chicks and stuff like that. I want to be the next one that's pushing these joints because sometimes you need a a different a different eye, a musical eye. I don't say, I ain't gonna say who's pulling them strings of giving up cash and all that stuff who's doing what they doing. I mean, people doing what they doing, but I don't, I don't know, man. A lot of things need to change. Even though change is always good. People say, nah, I don't like change. But change is always good. And, and right now, changing has happened. I wanna make a change also. You know what I'm saying? I wanna do some music. I wanna uh, executive, I want to produce some music because I got a talent. I got my ears. My ears is like, so the songs that I put together for my own project, people are like, damn, 
where you get that? How you, that's high, you know what I'm saying? And it's just old music. Music is just repetitive, you know what I'm saying? It comes back around and stuff like that. So the songs I got and the ideas I got and what I got to say is all cohesive, man. And it's just like, yo, we ain't know, Spig. We ain't know it was like that. So that's how I keep it. It's going to be something, man. I just want to be in that chair. To, 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 to do it, to push the future. You know what I'm saying? I'm always be a part of music. 